think the shots help, but that's not, you know, that's not everything. Like I said, I thought on the road we played more focused, spirited basketball. I guess just something maybe about our routine at home that uh, us as players can fix to make sure that we have the, have the proper energy. Um, you know, because just you have to compete. You have to compete to get energy in the building uh, to get your juices. <coughs> and um, you know, we have to do something, whether it's pick up defensively, maybe to get our legs going or something. Um, you know, but we cannot afford to. Uh, sleepwalk into the game, and that falls a lot on the guys who start the game, uh, more so than anybody. You know, the coaches can't do it for us, and obviously the guys coming off the bench can't do it. So uh, for the five guys that do start, you know, uh, we you know, have to make some changes to something we do uh, to get us more in an aggressive mindset. <coughs> Changing the I, mean, I don't know about that. I think it's, you know, the guys that start in the game, you know, we can change the way they play, uh, which includes myself. I'm not alienating anybody else. For all five of us, we need to, uh, from Moe's the rookie to myself, Glenn and JJ as the veterans, to Nicola uh, being our inside presence. The way we start the game has to just be with a lot more energy. You know. so one of us, next game, will take it upon ourselves to uh, make sure that happens. You, know, you can't predict the score or making shots, so it's hard to say that we're going to make shots in the first quarter. But uh, the next game, we will play with more focus and passion in the first quarter. The turnovers you guys talked about that this morning, you can't turn them all over because you're one of those teams that turns it into points, right? I mean, was that kind of the best fault? Yeah, I mean, obviously the most glaring opportunities came at the end of the half mm -hmm. uh, when it was a four-point game. And, you know, now you go into the half down 12 instead of four, mm -hmm. you know, and that makes it an entirely different game, uh, an entirely different comfort zone for them. Which honestly, I don't feel they felt discomfortable or discomfort at all tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't. I didn't get that feeling from them. It was as if they knew they were going to walk in here and win. So um, can't discredit them for that having that attitude. Uh, like I said, next game, next game will be different. Not speaking on the outcome, but the way we play. Mm -hmm. Sixteen two. Josh had to call two timeouts. Were you just kind of like? What's going on here? I mean, it's obvious. You know, it's, it's nothing he can do. He can call a timeout. But mm -hmm. He can't get out there and, and, and compete. Uh, so, uh, again, all you can do is recognize this, what happened tonight, and then um, tomorrow will come and, you know, Friday, make a change. Mm -hmm. Can I fly all down? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.